because it's again uh, a bit uh, it's a good question actually right see 140 raised to a is equal to 5 and 140 raised to b is equal to 7 right then what is the value of so it's it's another question from mocks actually okay then what is the value of 28 raised to 1 minus a minus b upon 2 into 1 minus a that's the question right so if 140 raised to a is equal to 5 and 140 raised to b equal to 7 what is the value of 28 raised to 1 minus a upon 1 minus uh, b uh, by 2 or raised into 1 minus a okay so basically how to attack such questions right okay so basically the values are given here right you got to understand this value okay you got to relate these terms actually this basically 140 5 28 right basically i know that 140 by 5 is equal to what that is equal to 28 here now can i write this term number 28 right so how to attack we'll write this 28 as 140 by 5 it becomes 140 by 5 raised to 1 minus a minus b upon twice of 1 minus a i can write like this okay now this 140 by 5 i can further write like because it is 1 by 5 right basically whenever we have got 1 by 5 So what is one by five? Because from here you can see, no, uh, you can actually see from this point actually that what is one by five here. So you can just see this point, okay? One by five. What is one by five? So one by five is basically uh, one by one forty raised to a, okay? If I if we try to replace this, right? This one by five. If I try to replace, I can write like this. Ah, uh, let's see, one forty one by five, right? That basically is one forty, okay? One forty uh, by five, right? Yes. So one forty one by five is one forty raised to a. So actually raised to a here. Okay. Wait. One forty raised to a. Okay. Now once this one forty raised to a, so first I'm trying to replace this here, right? One forty by one forty raised to a, and this power is one here. Okay. So again, one minus a minus b upon twice of one minus a. Now I got the reason, right? Because what will happen now? So once first I try to relate this twenty-eight and one forty by five. From there I got another way that here in denominator we have one minus a. If power becomes one minus a, then I can cancel it. That's what happening here, right? So once you find a correct way, no, automatically the things will be, be easier, right? That becomes one forty uh, into a uh, one minus a. Okay, and then externally we have one minus a minus b upon twice of one minus a. This one minus a and one minus a will get cancelled actually, right? So what I'm we are left uh, what I'm left now. So now uh, basically, if I try to relate this, right? So actually, what what is left here? I have to relate this one forty raised to b also, because uh, this b is seven. To relate it to one forty plus b, so what I can think over it, right? So I can just make it like this. Understand? One forty one minus a one forty. Uh, in this we have got a. Uh, One minus we can write like one minus a plus b, ah, huh, divided by two. Okay. Now further on, what we can write from here, guys? I can write like this. Like it, it is minus sign. Not relate it with a plus b. I can break like this. Understand? Okay. Take this power to outside. So one forty raised to one upon one forty raised to a plus b. This is what? This is one by two. Okay. I can write like this. I hope it is clear. Right. And then. This one forty raised to a plus b is quite easy, right? I can relate this, no? One forty a into one forty one forty raised to a into one forty raised to b. Okay, so one forty raised to a, one forty raised to a into one forty raised to b is equal to one forty raised to a plus b. Now this one forty raised to a plus b will be equal to what? Yeah. So one forty raised to b is equal to what? A plus B, right? So if I multiply this, this becomes five into seven as what? Thirty-five. Okay. So I can put thirty-five here directly. So what is my answer? You can sense the answer now. Okay. One forty by thirty-five raised to one by two. That is equal to four by four raised to one by two. That is two is square raised to one by two. Again, I can cancel this. My answer is what? A two. So it's a nice question, right? It was a nice question actually. Okay, the this one forty raised to a, one forty raised to b. Ah, huh? try to relate this. So basically, we have numbers here. Okay, those numbers will actually be very helpful here. 
what numbers we are getting that is very important actually right okay now uh one uh, important uh, we can actually one we can discuss here just wait guys wait a minute okay yeah mm we have got another question here okay uh five let me just this here okay yeah so this question guys <clears throat> which uh, which of the following is greater one actually okay which of the following is greater so we can actually write it's also very uh, good fund actually okay suppose there is a statement here that we have got 41 by 40 raised to 80 and then we have got a uh, 31 by 30 raised to 60 okay so actually this this actually this terms right i this is like a this is b right so among this which which of the following is greater so we can in options we can have two three statements right and you can ask this, this question in exam okay so again uh, basically so for this we need to understand one funda so whenever we have such kind of question so it actually a part of binomial theorem actually right but you can directly relate uh, you can relate to this right you can just write this note point here the note point will be always 1 plus 1 by n Raised to n, ah, uh, is equal to, uh, sorry, one plus one by n raised to n, that is always increases with n. This value always increases. That is result of binomial theorem. Binomial theorem. I can directly use it. Okay, so one plus one by n raised to n always increases with n, right? That basically means that if I convert it to one plus one by n form, like forty one by forty is there. So forty one by forty, if I convert to one plus one by forty, okay. So one plus one by forty, and then I want to write forty also. Okay, what I want to write, I want to write forty here. So one plus one by forty raised to forty. Ah, huh? because of this form here, right? Because of this form. Okay. Now and now this two will come outside. For this to become eighty. Similarly, thirty one by thirty. That term I can write like one plus one by thirty. It has to be raised to thirty actually. Okay. So it has to be raised to raised raised to thirty, right? So one plus one by thirty is raised to thirty, and then after this, this values here, okay, this values here, one uh, plus one by thirty raised to thirty, and is again this square here. So we can actually so now in comparison, both the powers are same, right? So I can just eliminate the powers here because both are same, okay? If I uh, so if both are same and both are positive numbers, right? So it's basically if I don't need to for positive numbers, right? For numbers greater than one, I don't need to check, है ना? Like for example, two square and three square. I can directly check with two and three. Why do you need a square here? If two is less than three, then definitely two is less than three square. Obviously, right? Okay. For all the numbers greater than one. Similarly, if I try to put this here, so now we get this that one plus one by n power n increases with n. So can I say that if this is my one and this is my two, so can I say that one is greater than two? I can say this, right? Okay. So actually, this this point is very important that one plus one by n raised to n actually increases with, and you can note this point, right? Okay. And similarly, all these all these questions actually, right? So all such questions, there are so many questions, right? I shared a video also. Okay. There are such four hundred fifty plus questions. Ah, uh, and actually, this all are actually in my an academy free practice sessions, right? Okay. So I want all of you to utilize this actually. These are all are free there. Okay, I've taken lots of uh, practice sessions of quant over the year, apart from my plus classes, right? So all that are stored in my uh, in my uh, profile. So profile link I'll give in my this an academy, uh, this description actually. And in there, in that you can just go to special classes. Go to special classes. You can just scroll it right, and then you can see all those lots of practice, right? There are eighty to ninety LRDA sets there. And they are around four hundred fifty plus quant questions there, high quality quant questions, right? Because basically we do all the concepts in plus, and then we practice a lot of good question in special class also. Okay, so uh, make it to right. So in in last these in last uh, one month, no, just make sure that you have finished all this actually. This will give a lot of confidence. Okay, and if you find it quite useful, that will be great. Okay, and should be useful, right? Because we we have done a lot of high quality questions actually. Okay. Okay guys let's continue with the next practice session thank you for watching
and also also this combat guys okay so this a uh, combat uh, you know it's a very good test series it contains some good high quality questions okay so there easy questions are, are not asked here so it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like away uh, we are around 8 to 10 months away from cat so the questions we put off may be some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the lrd sets also um this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get to get, get to get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give a uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before cat okay and this one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, down from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank 1 to 3 one year subscription i think around 20000 or 75% scholarship or 50% or so so great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put in a uh, link here i'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here ravi roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay ask you for invite code put ravi roda and the link i'll put in description just enroll from there okay and do give this every sunday do give this at 12 pm it's on every sunday okay so every sunday give this on 12 pm thank you